in this video let us study about the joints and the movement see the joints in your body are the places where two bones are joined together so the joints are strong enough to withstand jerks so the end of bones are covered with soft cartilage it acts as a shock absorber and reduces friction between the bones now cartilage is also present in some parts of the body that are not as hard as the bones for example the upper part of your ear so the bones are held together at the joints by strong stretchy bands called ligaments so there are many joints in the body so let's so the end of bones are covered with soft cartilage right now it acts as a shock absorber and reduces friction between the bones now it shock absorber and reduces friction in the bone friction between the bones now see if you are rotating your bones that might get a friction so this cartilage between the ends of your bone helps you to reduce the friction between the bones now the bones are held together at the joints by strong and stretchy band called ligament the bones are held together at a joint by strong stretchy bands called ligaments right so there are many joints in the body the joints are of three types depending upon the types of the body they allow like immovable joints slightly movable and freely movable like if i talk about your elbows you can easily move your hands shoulders you can easily move your bones of the shoulders but can you move the bone of your calf so these are immovable bones slightly movable are some bones of like your wrist wrist bone is slightly movable and your hands are freely movable so your bones with the elbow bones are freely movable so there, there are three types of bones immovable then slightly movable and freely movable now let's study about some of the joints so number 1 we will study about the hinge joint the this type of joint that you can see a cup kind of thing and then inside it there is a other thing that is joining in it so this type of joint is your hinge joint in your body like your elbows your knees finger joints allow movement in one plane only that is upward or downward backward or forward like the hinge of a door so such joints are called hinge joints they allow the movement in one place only like up down or forward or backward like the hinge of a door so these are known as the hinge bow joints now a ball and a socket 
joint see what happens in this this is a ball and socket joint we will be starting about now your shoulder your hip joints allow movement in any direction right so in such joints the end of one of the bone is a round like a ball now see you can see this this part is round like a ball right now the other thing is it fits into a hollow part or socket in the other bone now this bone has a socket now this round shape of the bone fits into this socket just as it is shown in this figure right so the bone that ends in a ball uh, ball for example the femur or the humerus bone can move in any direction such a joint is called a ball in a socket joint right do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us